permanent iko permanent hata ile season unapitia saa hii cool down itaisha tu saburi 23 bila inasema hata nikipitia bila inasema hata nikipitia chini ya uvuli wa mauti si nikikwama nikipitia napendanga kwa dada ndio anakujanga kuniambia pasa kile kitu napitia na furai unapitia endelea kupita ubaya ni kukwama unajua ukikwama kukukwamua ni kazi lakini kama ni kupitia keep passing keep passing tutakutana ngambo ile ingine tutakuja kunishuhudia uniambie nilikuwa nimepitia kipindi kingumu nasema eh maana aliyesema ni Mungu anatangaza mwisho kabla ya mwanzo kuonekana Mungu anakuanga kama wale watu wanajenga nyumba wanaitwa wala wanachora yes anachora nyumba mzima anaitengeneza na paki na unaona imewekwa mbao kubwa na imechorwa na miti na hata gari simepakiwa na tumutu tunatembea na mwavuli kukenyesha ukiona ile ground inajengwa hiyo kitu ni mamiti hata wewe ukaipewa uwezi ichukua na mbao imepandikwa hapo imeandikwa coming soon 50% sold hakuna kitu architectures wanaona mbali wanakuchorea hata siku ya mvua <laughs> wanakuchorea hata nyumba imewakishwa taa ndani usiku na ni grass mungu hivyo ndivyo anafanyanga anakuambia mwisho kamili kabisa anakutengenezea mwisho kabisa na ukijua mwisho wako ni mzuri anza kusema yes joseph alipojua alisema usikubali kunyamaza sema bwana yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe mara ya pili. Amen. Sema kile Mungu amekuonyesha, jiite vile Mungu amekuita, mubarikiwa. Mimi wakati nilikuwa nimezaa na kichwa kubwa na nikaanza kungroo nikiwa na kichwa kubwa, I knew I was an handsome man and I told people, I used to say it. Kichwa kubwa mwili ndogo kuna kuna mtu handsome na inaona. Wa nini? Na mna hiyo. Piko ndiko. Kichwa kubwa mwili kidogo, hata kama ni wewe ukipewa mtu yeye hiyo utachukua hata my wife alijaribu Sasa hii shukuru Mungu mnaniona nini Mwili hii ngine imekuwa kubwa kichwa yangu bado ni kubwa nilijisemea nilijisemea mimi niko handsome Eugene si unaona Yeah I am yeah. Nikusema Unasiita maana Mungu akiita ameita na wewe itana hapana nyamaza Kama kwenu ni maskini we kataa Shinda kusema mimi kwetu si maskini. Kama unaitwa mtoa jiite progress. Mtoa inamaanisha yule ametoa mahali pamoja asongi. Jiite progress, zitui. Hiyo ni Kiswahili kweli. So kubali Mungu akisema na wewe useme. Akinena amesema nikikusudia nitatimiza. Nikisema nitatenda. Na akasema ndio sababu mimi ndio Mungu. Sisi tuko na Mungu wapendwa. Amesema ni hivyo. Aliambia Abraham, nitakufanya baba wa taifa kubwa. Abraham akafurahi. Akiendelea kufurahi akaambua kuja uone. Utaoa mke awezi za. Akakuja hapa, akapewa mke mrembo lakini kuzaa. Vijana wanazamanga ni ngori. <laughs> Wakajaribu miaka ikafika karibu mia. 75 lakini anajua anajua ana, atakuwa baba wa taifa alikuwa akitoka kuchunga ngombe mke wake akamuita baba, baba taifa unaendeleaje umeshinda baba taifa za hiyo hakuna mtoto na hakuna dalili unajua kuna saa zingine hakuna mtoto lakini kuna dalili yes maana Mungu amemwambia wewe ni baba ya taifa lakini anakuja anamweleza tuanze hapa maana Mungu akuonyeshi process anakutangazia mwisho kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mke wa Abrahamu akafika mahali akamwambia i think Mungu alimaanisha mbora mtoto badala ya kusema mtoto mbora mbora kuna tofauti ya mbora mtoto na mtoto bora Mungu alitaka mtoto bora mama akasema bora mtoto akamwambia chukua maid yangu mimi naona nimefika kipindi ya lala salama. Pakataka kumalizia process ya Mungu. 
kusaidia Mungu kuwe na mtoto hapa tangu siku hiyo ndio kisirani ikazalewa na hiyo kisirani mpaka leo ni kisirani to this day courtesy of mama kutaka kusaidia Mungu e Mungu tusaidie Mungu akitangaza mwisho my brother cool down na kuja kesha friday tu, tu, tusalishe tusalishe hiyo matangazo ya Mungu kwa maombi kila Mungu amekuambia kinasalishangwa mahali pa maombi unashangaa Mungu kwani hapo sema ukweli alisema ukweli lakini inasalishwa kwa maombi unaona Joseph Joseph aliambiwa utakuwa mkubwa kwa hivyo ikabidi akae na Mungu Biblia inasema kwa Potifa and the Lord was with Joseph kule gerezani and the Lord was with Joseph kule kwa shimo and the Lord was with Joseph kwa hivyo kila undambi kila neno Mungu amesema inasalishwa lakini ukitoka nje ya Mungu kidogo ukijiondoa kidogo utaanza kusaidia utaanza kusaidia na utakuja kuzalisha kisirani ya mtu ndio wakamba wanasema utaiua ujui Abraham akafikisha miaka 75 mtoto akuji lakini akashikilia ya kwamba Mungu ametangaza mwisho na akisema atatenda Dio mana unaitwa Jehova Dio mana Dio mana unaitwa Jeho Ulisema Ulisema utatenda na umetenda Dio mana unaitwa Dio mana anaitwa hivyo akisema atatenda hata kama umeona umechelewa kidogo atatenda Akikisha ni Mungu amesema na wewe kaa kama Joseph tukatalia kwa mulengo ya Yesu wakati Elijah aliambia mfalme nasikia sauti ya mfua enda ukule akokuwa sauti akokuwa mawingu lakini mtu wa Mungu na Mungu amenena lakini mtu wa Mungu alienda mlimani kapiga magoti na naita mvua na ngangana na mvua akangangana mpaka kukaonekana kitu bwana akisema ngangana mpaka kitu ionekane now this is not a family affair my wife anasukuma yake na inasukuma my sons wanasukuma kila mtu anajisukumia hii si kitu ya family kitu ya family ni nyumba yetu ile tunakaa lakini hii ya kiroho bwana akisema ni kila mtu jina la yesu lisiviwe Unakumbuka uh, uh, Judges chapter 11 verse 1. The Bible says Judges chapter 11 verse 1. Kuna mwanaume alikuwa anaitwa Jephtha. Alikuwa shujaa wa vita. Alikuwa mtu mighty man of valor. Lakini alizaliwa na Kaaba. Alizaliwa na Kaaba. Na 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 Mungu ameshamfanya shujaa wa vita. Mandugu zake wakamkusukuma wakamwambia utapokea kitu kwa hiboma yetu maana wewe ni mtoto wa mwanamke mwingine akatoka Mungu amesema pale tumesoma akikusudia atatenda walimfukuza wakimwambia wewe ni mtoto wa Kaaba and I want to let you know church haijalishi ulizaliwa na mna gani inajalisha Mungu anasema nini haijalishi vile ulizaliwa unaweza kuwa baba yako na mama yako hawajuani na si lazima wajuane umesaliwa na uko na baba Mungu. Uko na Mungu baba. Usizungue mama kumuuliza baba yako ni nani? Baba yako ni nani? Si uko na Mungu. Na akisema atatenda. Basi huyu Jephtha Mugiliadi alikuwa mtu shujaa sana. Naye alikuwa ni mwana wa mwanamke. Kaaba. Kwa hivyo ijalishi Umesaliwa aje inajalisha nani amesema na maisha yako na jina lake ni Mungu. Kwa hivyo labda kuna mtu amesaliwa vibaya let not your heart be troubled. Mungu anasema akisema atatenda. Na amesema na atakutendea. Jina lake Yesu Kristo litukuzwe. Amesema na atatenda. Glory to Jesus. Gideon aliambiwa wewe ni mtu shujaa tena wa vita. Tena aliambiwa na malaika akaambiwa wewe ndio utaokoa wana wa Israeli kutoka kwa mkono wa Midians akaelezwa hivyo 
akauliza Mungu mimi ni mudogo kwetu kilani yetu ni ndogo kabisa lakini Mungu ameshasema unajua Mungu akisema insist 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 haliambiwa na sasa hiyo amepatwa akikusanya eh, ngano kidogo akaviche mwoga lakini Mungu anasema mwoga ni nje ndani wewe ni mtu ya vita ndani wewe ni mshindi ndani wewe ni wafakama ndani wewe unashinda na aka aka akapata nguvu praise god akaimizwa ningetaka kuimiza mtu hapa Mungu amesema umebarikiwa. Mungu amesema umepona. Mungu amesema umelindwa. Mungu amesema maisha yako ya uzoni ni ya kubarikiwa. Ningetaka uamini umebarikiwa. Hata kama usikii kitu you don't have to feel. Siku feel. Hata kama ufeel Mungu amesema. Yule amesema ni Mungu. President anaweza sema na parliament ikangeuza. Especially in a, pro, in a democratic state kama yetu. Anaweza sema So, ukitaka muulize walisema watapitisha BBI koti ikakataa maana akisema koti inaweza kataa lakini Mungu akisema hakuna mtu anaweza kataa na akitaka ajaribu jina lake lisubiwe Yesu akamwambia Gideoni wewe ni wafita na, na utaokomboa wana wa Israeli na Gideoni saa hiyo ajisikii kama mtu shujaa lakini Mungu amesema praise god church The Lord says you are healed if you are sick and you are okay. Jina la Yesu lisiviwe. Amen. Ninasikia kuombea mtu. Hivyo ndivyo nasikia leo. Nasikia kuombea mtu. Unajua hii ni kwa kwa encourage. Nasikia kuombea mtu ili Mungu mwenyewe akutende neema. Mungu mwenyewe atimize hiyo maneno amekuzungumzia. Ayatimize. Ninasikia kuomba na mtu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Amen. When the Lord says he does. Nina feel ma, nasikia ndani ya moyo wangu kuna mtu amesemewa mambo na Mungu. Kuna conviction ndani ya moyo yako. Unasikia Mungu pale huko si pale unapaswa kuwa na huko shua. Kushua unapaswa kuwa mahali pengine. Lakini umekwamishwa tu mahali. Umekwama, umesumbuka kwa hii mlima kama wana wa Israeli sana. Unajua wana wa Israeli walipromiziwa azali na na maziwa na wakuambiwa kuna red sea wakuambiwa kuna kuna wilderness wewe kwa process labda umekwama mahali pastor atakukwamua kwa jina la Yesu nitakukwamua leo kwa jina la Yesu unasikianga ndani ya moyo wako unapaswa kuwa una operate supermarket lakini una operate kanduka kingine kana unauzanga hakuna uko na ile dawa ya kuvinya hakuna yani umekwamia kwa hakuna uko na kiberiti ya kiparu hakuna umekwama tu hapo leo nimetumwa kukuletea habari jema ya kwamba Mungu akinena amesema atatenda na nitakusaidia kutingiza saa hii kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kama unasikia kama mimi unaweza songa hapa kidogo mbele nikutamkie neno Maana na feel in my spirit nasikia ndani ya moyo uwezi kwama na uko na Mungu na uko na pasta na uko kanisani na ni kanisa ya kuokoka unmejaribu kurejesta kampuni yako aisongi umejaribu several things you know that's why you came to this service ulikuja ibada hii kwa sababu hiyo hiyo ndio sababu ulikuja ibada hii na Mungu mwenyewe alijua na kwa sababu alijua atatenda tukiwa tumefunga macho ningetaka kuhakikishia ya kwamba vile vile umesonga mbele ya hii madhabahu Mungu mwenyewe atakutenda Mungu mwenyewe atakutendea kilicho kwama twakikwamua sasa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kile ambacho akisongi twakisongesha kwa jina la Yesu kile ambacho kimekataa twakikataa kwa jina la Yesu hivyo ndivyo tunafanya saa hii in the name of Jesus Christ i want to pray with this portion sema bwana Yesu nimekubali umenena nami 
nami nimepokea kuanzia leo kilichokwama na kikwamua kwa jina la Yesu mimi ni wako na wewe ni wangu keep your hands like that father in jesus name i thank you for these brethren who have come to the altar to connect themselves with the voice of god i pray as you did with joseph you will do with these brethren some of them are in the pit some of them are in the jails in the cells some of them are at the potiphar's stench but now i put them up in the name of jesus i put them up in the name of jesus i pull you up in the name of jesus whatever has held you back i break it in the name of jesus i break it in the name of jesus i break it in the name of jesus receive your miracle receive your miracle receive your miracle receive your miracle receive in the name of jesus receive in the name of jesus receive in the name of jesus i lift you up right now in the name of jesus 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 you are lifted in the name of jesus this brother i declare his bones restored i speak into his life that he is healed in jesus name and as he continues to fellowship with us here in jcc church he will come without the scratches because jesus you are working on his bones you are restoring everything that concerns him you have spoken you are you will do it you have said it you will do it receive your miracle now receive your healing now receive your deliverance now whatever wanted to kill you i kill it in the name of jesus whoever spoke a word against you i reverse it in jesus name i speak a blessing i speak healing i speak deliverance in jesus name this group can go to sit let me pray with this portion Lift up your hands. Sema Bwana Yesu, nimekubali neno lako nililosemwa leo ni langu kama vile ulitembea na Ibrahimu akiwa ana mtoto lakini akiwa na ahadi na ukaitimiza saidi ya miaka sabini na tano akapata mtoto nami leo pale nimekwama pale nimengojea ninaamini nitapata muujiza wangu maana umenena na utatenda ukisema unatenda kwa jina la Yesu sema asante Yesu asante Yesu receive your miracle receive your blessing and your healing receive your success in Jesus name receive it in the name of Jesus Receive your blessing. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Blessing of Abraham is your portion. Blessing of Isaac is your portion. Blessing of Jacob is your portion. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it is your portion. Sema Sunday Yesu. Napokea ushindi wangu na kuamka pale nimekwama kwa jina la Yesu Kristo sema asante Yesu receive your miracle receive your blessing receive your progress you're going to succeed in Jesus name success is your portion my brother receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Jesus did it and he is the same yesterday today and forever therefore it is your portion in Jesus name this blessing is yours the lord has spoken into your life 
and he is doing it. He has spoken and he is doing it in your life. He has spoken and he is doing it in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive the promises of God into your life in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this baby and the mother. I pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is going to be found in this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have spoken a word in their lives and I push them through to the next level. In Jesus' name. Yes, let me assure you, it is done in Jesus' name. You can take your seat. Beba mkono juu sema bwana Yesu ninakushukuru kwa neno uleo nena ndani yangu kama vile ulinena na Gideoni ya kwamba yeye ni mwafita ya kwamba yeye ni mshindi ya kwamba yeye atakomboa watu akiwa masikini umenena nami kama vile nilivyo na leo hii mimi ni mshindi na leo hii mimi nimekwamuka na leo hii sitakwama tena kwa jina la Yesu. Father in Jesus name I thank you for this brethren that have believed your word that have erased their faith that have decided to move to the next level. They have believed your promises for your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. I pray that these promises are going to be fulfilled. Receive the fulfillment of the promises of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Receive the promises of God in your life my brother in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the promises upon your son and yourself. You are baby as a promise and you are Promise yourself. Receive it in Jesus name. Receive the promises of God. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. May God, may God, may God bless you. May the Lord himself sustain what he has spoken. He has done it. God bless you. Let's all stand on our feet everybody. Put your hands together for Jesus. Lift up your hands like this. Sema bwana Yesu. Nina kushukuru. Maana ukisema unatenda. Umekusudia na unanitendea. Umetangaza mwisho wangu na utaukamilisha. Maana wewe ni Mungu na kando yako hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Wewe ni Mungu na hakuna wa kufananishwa na wewe. Napokea ahadi zako kwa ajili yangu ya kwamba ni ndio na amina ndani ya Kristo Yesu. In Jesus name. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri, mueleze ni asante kwa kutenda umetendewa. Brethren, Bwana amekutenda. Bwana amekutendea. I just feel kuna mtu anaumwa na macho pande ya juu, macho pande ya juu hivi. Nasikia macho imekuuma pande ya juu. Unaongopa ku scratch maana unafikiria una ukiscratch it can be a big problem. The Lord is healing you. Bwana anakutenda macho pande ya juu. Bwana anakutendea. Akisema anatenda, anatenda. Bwana anakutendea. Pa macho pande ya juu. Kisha mkono wako kwa shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Kwa shoulder kuna mkono kwa shoulder yako inakuuma. Kwa mkono hapa Bwana amekuona na anakufoponya. Ukitoka nje hii mlango tatoka na uponyaji wako. Maana Bwana amekutendea. Akisema anatenda anatenda ndio sababu anaitwa Mungu hakuna mwingine kama yeye naomba tuketi wapendwa Mungu awabariki Mungu awapiganie Mungu awashike mkono hii nyumba inaitwa kwa jina la Bwana 
na lazima Bwana akutende mema. Chukua sandaka mkononi in that mood of prayer. Chukua sandaka inafanana na wewe in that mood of prayer. Kama pesa yako iko kwa simu kuna procedure pale ya kulipa online. E, kama una fungu la kumi, beba mkono juu Ashas watakusaf na Baasha. Beba mkono juu straight hivi Ashas waone wakupatie e, Baasha ni vyema na ni vizuri na ni ni, ni, kiungu, ni kiungu kutoa fungu la kumi maana inatangaza protection juu ya maisha yako juu ya familia yako juu ya biashara zako juu ya kazi yako ita utaona baraka za Bwana ukiamua kuwa mwaminifu kwa Bwana if you if anybody has a tithe you can bring it i receive it in jesus name Mungu akubariki na akudumishe. Simama tu hapo Mungu akubariki na akudumishe. Mungu akubariki na kufungulie madirisha. Mungu akubariki. Baba katika jina la Yesu nimepokea e, fungu la kume kutoka kwa watu wako ndani ya madhabahu haya na ninanena baraka ndani ya maisha yao ili mbingu madirisha ikafunguke na ulinzi unaoambatana na fungu la kumi ukawe juu ya maisha yao ya watoto wao na watu wao na chochote kinaitwa kwa jina lao wanaowapiga vita wakapigane na wewe wanaowainukia wakakuinukia wewe katika jina la Yesu asande kwa sandaka e, tunaposetoa mbele zako Naomba Yesu ukasikubali ili kila mmoja wetu akitoa akabarikiwe. Kwa jina la Yesu nimeomba.